Hello and welcome back to another video from my Minecraft single player. We're starting off today in front of this mining camp which I built in the last episode so if you want to see the process of building this you can go and check that out it ended up in a, in a large nice time lapse but yeah I really still am enjoying how this looks with the custom hill the stone areas uh, the mining camp itself I really think it came together perfect. Uh, so I, I haven't been using it too much uh, yet. I was down uh, mining a few diamonds after I uh, ended recording the last episode. So I found a few diamonds, fortuned them and got quite a few of them. Uh, so that was nice. I have them back at the base where we'll go in just a second so I can show you. But before we do that, I want to tell quickly about the plans for today's episode. So now that we have a mining camp and we have a place to mine a lot of uh, raw uh, ores um, but we can't really use the raw ores for something. We need to smell them and turn them into something before we can use them. And where do you do that? At a blacksmith. So what we're doing today is building a blacksmith. And, and I have been uh, thinking a bit how I could make one that like fit in this area with the building thing we're going with here. Uh, but I think I have come up with quite a nice one. So I'm thinking of putting it somewhere here behind me. Uh, so we can like make a path that comes from the mining camp towards the rest of the uh, starter village. And then the path goes uh, straight past the uh, straight past the uh, blacksmith. But it's not just going to be a blacksmith that we can look at. We're actually going to make it functional because uh, inside or oh, it's not big enough. So it will probably be underground. I'm going to build a super smelter because I'm starting to have so much uh, I need to smelt, especially uh, uh, copper or I have so much raw copper that I need to smell into into ingots um, and also smelting glass into, or sand into glass and smelting food. It's just going to be really useful to have a super smelter so it can all be done a bit faster and the process doesn't take as long as just having two uh, uh, furnaces in my starter house so i was thinking like somewhere in this area on this side and then the path could come like on this side of it then it would be somewhere uh, over here but we'll look at that in just a minute or two now let's quickly run back to the base and i also need to gather a few materials for it so first of all i have 39 diamonds now which is really great I'm going to hold on a bit before making the diamond block still until because I still need to like repair my pig eggs uh, before we get mending. So hopefully we'll be able to figure out some sort of temporary uh, trading hall soon where we can get like mending and all of the other important books. Then uh, look at the cover situation. <laughs> yeah, I have a bit that needs to be uh, to be smelted. So and also I also have a lot of ores up here. So a super smelter is going to be very useful. And I have been thinking because I've been mining a lot of diamonds and you need to mine those like really far down. So that's where I get into deep slate. So I have a, wait, that was scary. Um, I have a, I have a lot of deep slate now. So I'm thinking of, if not using it for the build itself, maybe using it for the roof and then create like a sort of, I don't know if you, it will make sense when I build it. But then like have the foundation as stone, like stone bricks. And then uh, at the roof, it goes like a bit further up in the roof. And I don't really know how to explain it, uh, but I think it would look cool. I've seen other people build like that and uh, I really uh, like how that looks. So let me gather some resources I will need. Um, and then I'll get set up over at the area and then probably just start it off right away into a time lapse. Then when I have built a house in a time lapse or blacksmith, then I think I would, I will come back and probably build the super smelter in real time with you. So, see you in a bit with a hopefully nice looking blacksmith.
All right, so I'm back again in front of my new blacksmith, which I really do enjoy. I think it's turned out really epic. Uh, I'll just give, give a quick tour of it, I think. So the idea is the mining camp is over there, rest of the buildings is over there. So the plan is to like make a path that comes this way past the blacksmith and then like curves that way towards the other houses. And yeah, then this would just be like a stop on the way. So if we start off, like this is the main building where like the workshop is in here. And this is like a storage building. And we have the forge with the large furnace over here. So if we start with the main house, just nice. We have a bit of storage out here. In the back, some coal storage. And inside this storage uh, house, we have some iron being stored, ready for being smelted. And then I have this like little fence going around in the middle. If we come into the workshop, you can see we have a little workshop bench. Some stairs leading up top where I haven't done anything yet, but it's like meant to be some sort of like living area for the work, uh, the guys that work at the blacksmith. Out this way, you can see we can come straight through here if we want to, like a little back entrance. Then we have a cart with some uh, iron ore. Uh, what is it called, like iron uh, things <laughs> uh, that are ready to be smelted as well. Some iron blocks that have been smelted, like a cart that's ready to be driven off to somewhere. We have some more storage for the raw iron. And then we have the forge, which was probably the hardest thing to design, but I honestly think it turned out pretty well. Um, yeah, I like the design of it, used some different stone variants, a bit of basalt, and yeah, I think it turned out pretty well actually and around the side we just have some leaves to add a bit of life to it this is just blank for now i might add some details back here at some point we're not really gonna be back there so yeah this is what we have for now if we come into the main workshop and open this trap door to go down the ladder you can see i've dug out a huge hole down here and this is where the super smelter is gonna go which we will start building now. And yeah, I have just made this room super large. I'm. It's not going to take up all of the space, but I wanted to be able to play around with some uh, design down here at some point to make it look nice as well. So let's start building. What we are going to start off by doing is... um, Let's see, let's place the chest over here. That's where the uh, items are going to go when they have been smelted. Then we want to... We actually want to move it out one from the wall. And we want to place some harpers going into it. 16 to be precise. That should be 16. Then the furnace is on top. So this is where the items are going to go when they have been smelted. And they're going to be taken out and into this chest. Then we're going to add some harpers going into the back of the furnaces. And add some harpers going into the top of the furnaces. And then we have a way for coal to get into the furnaces and a way for the items to be smelted to get in. And we're going to take some blocks and build a little something here in the end. So uh, I just need to get up like that. Break these and do the same here. Do the same in the other end. Then I'm going to come up top and take some rails and place them like this going all the way across. And we'll be doing this on both hover lines. Then we'll have some minecarts uh, running on the top. And that's how we're going to get the items into the furnaces and the coal as well. Then I'm going to find roughly the middle, which is out here, I think. Block, lever, turn it on. Come to this end without the chest. Lever, turn it on. And to the end with the chest, place a lever, uh, but not turn it on yet. So then all that's left to do is really place in some chests for the items to go in. So like this. And then we need to place down the minecarts. So one minecart goes there and another one goes here. And then we'll be able to put uh, items that need to be smelted into that one. And uh, coal into that chest. Okay, so I actually just quickly decided to flip it around since we have a bit more space over here to access the chests. But uh, I'll quickly run back to the starter house and grab some things we need to get smelted and then we can test out how uh, fast it is. Alright, I'm back again. 
and I have brought some items to smelt. So first of all, I'm going to place a double chest here because I think we could end up having quite a few items coming through. Then if we put the coal on here, you can see it goes into the minecart. We put some of the copper I have to smelt in here. And what we should uh, see happening when we flip the lever is the items and the coal getting distributed evenly among the furnaces. So it gets smelted like uh, uh, at the same time and very fast. So let's try and flick the lever and see how it goes. So we start off by putting one of each and then when it comes back it should put another one in, another one in. So you can see that only one item goes into each furnace which is exactly what we want. So this looks to be working just as it's supposed to do. And then if we look in the chest, you can just see that it's pretty much a constant flow of items and it's so much faster than smelting it manually in, in furnaces. So I'm really happy with this and I think I'm going to use this a lot. And the thing is, it's so easy to build. Like you need a bit of iron for all of the hoppers, but other than that, it's, it's really simple and easy to build and it's so efficient. So definitely build this yourself if you're if you're in need of a super smelter, this is a really good design. And what you do when it's done putting items into the furnaces, which you can see it is now, you turn off this lever and then when the minecarts get back, they should stop and then you're ready to fill new items in. So yeah, this is working just as it's supposed to. I don't really think I want to do any decorating down here today. I just want to get it working uh, in today's episode, but I might come down here at some point and make this look a bit nicer than just this uh, stone and dirt. But yeah, potentially in another episode. There we go. You can see the furnaces turn off. And that was what over six stacks of copper smelted in a couple of minutes. So yeah, absolutely essential to get this in your world. I think that's where we're going to leave it today. Uh, got this blacksmith build which I'm really happy about. I'm really really buzzing about this build. It's amazing I think. Um, once again complimenting myself I'm sorry but I really do enjoy it. Um, anyway thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode as always. If you did please consider leaving a like on the video. Consider subscribing as well if you want to. If you have any ideas for other builds I could do in this world that you think would fit in the theme or generally you're just uh, builds in general that you want me to do uh, then leave your suggestions in the comment section I would love to hear what you have uh, as ideas anyway that's it for now hope to see you in the next one until then take care have an absolutely amazing day and see you soon thanks for watching goodbye